based after dark ladies and gentlemen welcome to base after dark season two episode 21 that is the reason ignoble is not here because the episode is too old today we are joined by mr tasty live from youtube uh also known as the host of behemoth bat chess we also have wow. mr hamzy underscore irl coming off a weekend bender that we're going to get into today a uh, special guest he made it he's here nine rain is alive and he's wearing a cool jacket slash coat Ooh, i like that looks it's good new. thank you and nice. uh filling in as well uh t pop ripped a 24-hour stream for the runescape leagues he couldn't make it uh zoe's live right now she just hates us i guess uh but uh, we have prylax <laughs> prylax filling in today as well uh also shout out to all of our patrons we just had somebody else upgrade to a tier four which is insane uh shout out to <laughs> mr coach teacher but uh, shout out to all the patrons and uh welcome i hope everybody's doing well we were just talking about uh before we started recording here uh i wasn't really aware but apparently the wednesday before thanksgiving is extremely busy and people Dude, go out yeah i didn't really know can that. i just say okay so we usually record these on wednesdays and i don't know whose idea it was or what the reasoning what uh what it was but the, someone was like hey let's do this on tuesday something thanksgiving and can i just say Thank you guys because <laughs> I well, I think love. that was the thing is, is everybody wanted to, everybody was busy. They, they were like getting, they're going to do something with Dude. the family or like oh. start traveling and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I saw that decision, I was like, yes, let's go because I fucking love the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. Like, can I just say that is absolutely Why? the best night to go out? Dude, fuck I've, Halloween. Fuck I've never been out. Do a lot I've of people go out on I'm, the day yeah. before. I haven't either. Because I'm always like... doing like family shit, but I, I, I yeah. would love to. I would love to do a Wednesday pre-Thanksgiving with Hamzy just to see what happens. Is that is that like a you like a thing? That's, Dude, what, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, okay, that's, okay. It's, so, the, so, it's the it wait, is wait, the wait, busiest no, night of the year. I, what, what does that mean though? Because I feel for, like for, just, for bars like, and clubs, it I is feel the like highest Hamzy volume. just wants an excuse. I feel like this is his thing. No, that's, like, that's no, no, no. That's no, no. every night going out, bro. People just want an excuse. <laughs> I go it is, out, yeah, it is I quite need an excuse, bro. What do I need an excuse wise, for? Volume wise, for the amount served, <laughs> like the amount of covers done, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving is the busiest night of the year for bars. Hell clubs. yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, for I was going to Is that like nationwide? Yeah, it's for bars. Just nationwide on a U.S. No, on a U.S. scale, it's insane. Why? What? Where's this, where'd you get this information from? Is this, is I don't this know. No, no, this is known information. Are you just talking? You just this saying is known information. This is no, 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 this is time this Who told you? Where did you get that from? Though, like, where did you get that number dude, from? Dude, fucking literally from Bill Gates. <laughs> Wait, so hey, <laughs> why? Dude, shut up, so, dude! It's you're so real, dude. You're so full of shit. So, I swear to God, I heard that before. So full of shit. Okay, so so he's actually not capping. Are you going out because it's a thing, or are you going out because you have some rationale that would enlighten us as to why? Everyone else is going out. Don't ask that. No, question. I always look forward to this night every year. It's always yeah. a big thing for me. People <laughs> look forward to New Year's Eve. I look forward thing. to the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> Everyone is in their hometowns. Uh, you've got all the homies reuniting, dude. You're seeing your fucking. Can I, can I stop you real you quick? Seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, Tasty is actually right. He's not wrong. That is uh, no, a. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. okay. Dude, yeah. Obviously, facts, Bill, yeah, so Bill Gates didn't I'm tell me like, that, but my. My buddy, who's like the manager of a nightclub in Scottsdale, okay. told me that. So yeah, I, I we, assume we that was of, real uh, information. We have multiple sources here confirming that. Okay. They call yeah. it Blackout yeah, Wednesday. Wait, 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 no, it's Black. Blackout Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Blackout Wednesday. Blackout Black Friday. Drinks dude. giving. Interesting. <laughs> That's what I know. We're just making shit up, dude. Yeah. Hey, listen. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, because, you know, just for the audience, I'm just, you know, some fact checking. You know, this is a very serious podcast. So that's true. Go ahead. Okay. We don't, we don't So, what factors, you might ask? Make this night before Thanksgiving so great. Mm -hmm. One might wonder. Let me tell you. You've got all your homies back in town. Everyone's going back to their hometown because you got Thanksgiving the next day. So you got all your homies reuniting. Uh, you got your stupid ass cousin that you get in trouble with. Uh, you got that old flame that you fumbled way back. Uh, you may oh, even see me excited. Your fucking <laughs> old yeah, God. You, you might even see that old high school bully dude and get a chance to fucking. What's up, boy? 
Yeah, you're gonna stuff me in it. What Bro, are you, you said that to him, he's not gonna be scared. I've been lifting. I've been What's lifting. Up, boy? Oh, yeah? What about now? Up, boy? Bam, bam, bam. You sound zesty as hell. What's up, boy? <laughs> you're gonna murder your high school bully, bro. Fucking gun down the bully, bro. So what up now? What up now? What's up, bitch? Okay, no, that's not the main thing. But you've got everyone coming back into town for uh, everyone's already in town, you know, for Thanksgiving the next day, and it, it just creates like a cool. Uh, you know, melting pot of a bunch of people that haven't seen each other in a long time, and it, it creates kind of a good energy, like not like like huh. a rage night, but it's kind of like a good night to like catch up, hang out, see people you haven't seen in a while. Old flame, you know that you fumble. Is that back. is that like a what kind, what size town did? Where do you come from, Hamzy? Was it a city town? What are we talking? DC. Oh, DC. Like, big how city. big was your high school? <laughs> But I mean, dude, this is a thing in small. Like, I remember dating a girl in high school or in uh, in college who came from a small town. Because I, because uh, I'm just saying, like, I'm not gonna see anybody <laughs> who, because it's Thanksgiving. Because I'm I'm from Austin, and so it's like, well, I know a lot of people do the Friendsgiving, right? For Friendsgiving, they either do mm -hmm. it, they do it like Wednesday, or they'll do it Friday. Because I've done that oh, yeah, before. Like, we different. drank a little bit, but it wasn't like a rager. The only like rager no, was no, the Thanksgiving. The well, Thanksgiving, was, which was yeah. like, as I'd say, we did actually yeah, do a rager. The Thanksgiving so, that was the crazy Friendsgiving. So went, I feel like hard, Friendsgiving yeah, has a more wholesome meaning behind it. I feel like Friendsgiving is you moved away from your hometown. You're living now in Philadelphia. LA, New York, you have this group of friends that you've made by yourself. No hometown shit. Yeah. These are the kind of people you do Friendsgiving with. You get together, do a cute little, everyone does charcuterie boards. Oh, yeah, yeah, you fucking boards. bring in the I'll charcuterie. I'll make a mean charcuterie board. Uh, someone's do. doing mashed you, potatoes. I'm really the type of guy to make someone's a mean turkey report. Their <laughs> cheese. Uh, Not really the type uh, of guy to say that turkey's good. It's actually good. Whoa, good whoa, whoa. Dude, deep, whoa. deep fried turkey? Deep fried hey, turkey? Listen, oh, yeah. I agree. Okay, listen, I'll agree with you. The deep fried turkey is better, but it's, it's, it's still turkey, man. I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, it's it's the least man. attractive Who's thing. Bringing the powder, you're right. Yeah. It, it's it's still good. Meat. Dark meat turkey ain't bad, brother. White meat, I get it. Okay, yeah, that's no, fair. I'll, that's give that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. White meat just dries out. No. I no, yeah. I agree with Hamzy though. Friendsgiving is like a calmer, it's a more cordial, it's like a mm. lighthearted thing. <clears throat> Drinksgiving, the Wednesday, that's you're just getting fucked. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I've done like Friendsgiving. You just live, laugh, love the next day. And then you're all oh, hell yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I no, always I'm... look very forward to to the Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. Like it's always a big What's your plan? What's your, so like we, we're doing this Tuesday because I think the, the main reason was is we had some people traveling, uh, we had some people doing stuff with family, and then you uh, uh, you you have like what's what's the plan? What like what's your game plan? What are you gonna do? Um, so I got so my family's actually doing Thanksgiving at our house. Uh, I got friends, Austin. cousins coming over uh, from out of town. Uh, they're actually all here mostly, or they're coming. Uh, a few coming on the day of, you know, beyond. Thursday for Thanksgiving, but um, you know anyone who's here, we're gonna just go out to bars. Um, I actually got a good amount of uh, all the all the clubs actually have like popping DJs, um, and I feel like there's a big uh, actually in the DJ scene. I feel like there's also kind of an emphasis on local talent, which I've never really put like now that I'm thinking about it. I've never really like thought about it until now. But uh, I, I guess that is kind of a big thing as well. Um, I mean, in D.C., you know, you have so much talent that goes out to, like, New York and L.A. and other places and shit. Um, and then all those people still have to come home eventually, you know, for thanks. Like, when are they? What, what better time than Thanksgiving? Um, and hmm. a lot of these places do do, uh, like, local, uh, local, local acts, local DJs. Um, they do, like, some hometown hero shit, people that, you know, went away and... Not like being super famous, but you know, got pretty successful, and now they come back and play at the venues that they really started at. Hmm. Cool. That sounds dope, man. I uh, like. I my family always went like we. I grew up with a family ranch, so we just go out and like get away from civilization for a little while. 
Which that yeah, was you always guys going nice. Like, you guys went and milked cows the night before. I think. No, no, it wasn't like a. <laughs> it wasn't like a. Yeah, just... It wasn't like a farm. We didn't have any farm animals. We we'd go hunting or um just kill spend the some... turkeys, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, or just spend some time out in like nature and not in the city or doing school or work or whatever. You know where everyone was coming from. So that was always nice, but you know that you're just out in the middle of nowhere with your family and friends. Not really like. I don't think we ever went hard on a Thanksgiving. Maybe a New Year's a couple of times, but Thanksgiving was always pretty chill. Like that was. You mean br- you mean hard as in like getting wild or just like making? I it mean, a like big turn the music up every festivities. No, 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 no. I just mean like turning the music up late at night, pounding some like champagne oh, or yeah. something like. Ah, no. Uh, which we've either. done for New Year's, but Thanksgiving was always like a rest restful holiday for yeah my family. i would have i would have predicted like if you'd have told me what's the busiest night of the year for bars i figured i figured new year's would be yeah, no, new no, year's. no new year's <laughs> no, 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 no. you know no, no, you know no. they actually uh you can fact check me on this i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure there's something called the new year's eve effect where what is that it's it's the concept of why are you getting all I'm gentle so f- and sensual with your voice? You right look. Now? I'm just a gentle and sensual. It. It's kind of sassy, Dad. I kind of like this. Uh, you, 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 but basically, you look so forward to an event and you like hype it up so much in your mind, and then it just doesn't live up to the. Idea. I thought that was the honeymoon that's, effect or something. Is that right? I think that's what a lot no, of things. No, are that's when you. Effect. That's when you are dating a girl for the like, and you're like you're like in a new relationship. Oh uh, yeah, no, you're right. The honeymoon. Yeah, well, it's honeymoon yeah, phase, yeah. right? Phase, that's yeah. probably. Yeah. I don't know. I, new Year's is fine, but I never like loved New Year's. It was never one of my favorite holidays. <laughs> nah. it's hit or miss. It it's really hit or is hit or miss. Exactly. It's that's, hit or I think, miss. I think that's new, fair. Or it's just <clears throat> nudge. I'm going to a New Year's wedding, so I feel like that could be fun. Huh. Like I'm, I'm, oh, I feel like what? it's going to be, like on New be Year's You know Eve? someone getting married on New Year's Eve? I, I New Year's also Eve know someone getting married on New Year's Eve. I know who it is. Eve. I'm not going to say who it is. We, you guys know who it is, too. I'm not going to say who it is. But it's uh, on That's New Year's. That's kind of sick. Congrats, Ita- Ignoble hey, Solid. We're looking forward to it. I'll tell you this. It's an yeah. Italian. It is an Italian family. That might give you a clue. Oh, who no, might, who, no. I know who it is. might be. So I'm excited. I think it could be I think it could be a really good time. We'll see. It could be a banger. Because I've been to one of my best friends. He's Another Italian. Person was and getting married. It, like the Italian wedding is by far the best I've been to. That shit was. I've been to it a was Cuban fucking, wedding. That bro, was very fun. fun. I, I want to go to an Arab wedding so bad. That's that's like number one on my list, dude. I want to go to a bro. Jewish wedding. I want to go in that circle tornado thing where they run around. Jewish weddings, the hype tight yeah, as like, fuck, bro. Sick. We yeah, uh, we carried our Jewish <laughs> dude. Our the goat. I think yeah. the goat is. Uh, uh, I think the goat nah, is nah, Indian nah, weddings. Nah. Yeah, you know. The go. Oh, yeah, but it's. Where's I it feel go? like it's harder to get an invite to one of yeah. those. Like it's they seem pretty. Like, well, we I know a guy. Maybe for you, yeah. buddy. We have okay. a guy. Like we, we have, have a guy, guy. <laughs> but he's like never gonna get married. But if and if he does, it might no, be a, no, like, he an will. Dude, don't worry, his parents like, will make him. An illegal <laughs> marriage. That, no, that's <laughs> true. That's not what about bit. sin. Would sin invite us to her wedding? Dude, probably. I would. I honestly would. I would literally beg her. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, well, that, that would that'd be, yeah, it'd be the same thing. She, we were she asking was Nine Rain. It looked beautiful. It looked like shit. It looked like a Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Like Inferno shit. recently went to a, uh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was looking at those uh, pics and vids. Yeah, we asked Nine Rain if we could dope. be invited to his wedding, and he said, uh, essentially, fuck no. No, but that's I okay. Said he, yeah, he said, you hey, can be invited. We renegotiated. You you're all we did invited, renegotiate. but you can't show up. <laughs> yeah, you have to say, you have to respectfully decline, but yeah, you are it invited. It's a courtesy invite. You don't have to leave. But it's like being forced to resign from your job. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fair. Ooh. We'll take that. Uh, well, speaking of it. What Aaron said before reminded me of uh, last year on the night before Thanksgiving, I went out in Orlando. Because I had just moved here, and I was testing out the downtown, going all the you know, looking for some Latinas as as you do. And this bar had the worst fucking idea ever. (laughs) Literally, it's probably one a.m. Close, getting close to two, uh, two, and they're closing, and they're doing these holiday shots. But it was so stupid. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea with everyone who drank so much throughout the night. But they were literally cranberry, like cranberries. Not juice, just cranberries. <laughs> oh, the berries. Like, okay. Yeah, some like fireball. a berry, like the berries. Oh no, like Ooh. like the sh- the shit cranberry. It's a bar. They bought shit cranberries, like that come that shaped in the can because you got to jiggle that shit out. Oh, that oh, shit. oh uh, like the, the jelly. Uh, yeah, cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. The cranberry wow. sauce. Oh, okay. God, that's it. What was that? that? 
Yes, it was. Oh that. My Hold on, God. it oh, was we gotta that. Have T-Papa try that. Fire, dude. Ball. I was just gonna say, Nine Ray T Pop would eat this shit up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It was that. Right, fire so what ball else is it? And a little bit of gravy. Gravy. Oh, oh my no, God, dude. No, dude. We have Bro. to make T Pop try <laughs> this. Dude. We're like, dude, you're not gonna believe this. I just feel wait. Like the next <sighs> thing you're gonna say is they got a little sliver of turkey and throw it in there too. Yeah, yeah just for like, they had a they that's turkey, how much better the turkey garnish. garnish. Oh, but they had hell. it lined up like around this square bar, and I can, so I'm gross. just watching on on this. I'm like, dude, what is going on? Where they pull this shit from? They have it just stacked oh, up. Yeah, where did they and get this, the gravy, bro? And it's the shit like sh the store yeah, bought. Yeah, yeah. Like you get Got it in the, in the back. just, we just some add gravy water. up in a skillet for the literally for the bar. just add water, the powder <laughs> gravy, and oh. this one girl. Uh. She could. She was so short. She was probably four eleven or five. She could barely reach the bar. And she got up and took <laughs> this shot her feet. and sculled it. And it, there was literal. She had zero ping on this in this yak. She fucking <laughs> zero <threw> ping. <laughs> she had zero ping. That shit immediately Bro. went in, and everything else just projectiled oh, out dude. across the bar into oh. everyone's cup that like had the shot and everything. Oh, That's rough, man. That probably made oh, it nine hundred download speed. speed. Yeah, oh, it was so yeah, funny. Uh, I feel like well, that's more of an upload speed. But speaking of Thanksgiving about, food, that's what we want to talk about next. Was the the Thanksgiving food like the, what's your tier list one and two? Uh, like my biggest thing, I fucking hate Thanksgiving because everybody posts the fucking food, bro. We're eating the same thing. Stop, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I so feel like it's kind of more of a. So I feel like that's kind of more of like a ours is better than yours though. Like, that's what I'm saying. Shit. Like you're I not eating what I'm eating. You know. Flex on it's people without family shit. shit you're bro. not but eating what I'm eating. Uh, it is all the same shit, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. no, it's I don't know. Shit, yeah. <laughs> it's the same fucking shit. I, I will say, I I I feel like tier list would be kind of hard, but I I will tell you one thing. I remember when I was in third grade, there was those they'd always do like holiday questionnaires in grade school when it was like, name your, you know, like turkey day themed and so it was like a couple things asking about thanksgiving and then one of them was like what's your favorite thanksgiving dish i remember writing this and then we like i don't know read them out in class my favorite thanksgiving dish was spaghettios because Dude, I, I didn't still eat know I, only that's a, I, I didn't know that was but my grandma like on my dad's side of the family Apparently the cousins on that side of the family just love SpaghettiOs. I got like older cousins. <laughs> the most white so they people shit ever, bro. So they, so they always <laughs> asked for SpaghettiOs at Thanksgiving, but I was younger, so like I didn't know that that was part of the negotiation for what we were gonna eat. So I Wait, just always ate SpaghettiOs as and it's the same colors. Yeah. Did they make the spaghetti? Like, did they make a SpaghettiO type dish, or did they literally? No, no, no take it was just SpaghettiO. The like, there would be your normal <laughs> spread, and then there would be a bowl of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Not right. like a community Turkey bowl. dressing. A community bowl. Oh, yes. just bowl of spaghettios. They just dump like five cans no, in a pot and beat them up. Like, like, what that sounds do? like some K-Kona shit. I'm surprised. Like, where, where did this happen at? That, that, that like... is K-Kona shit, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, it's country like, like, Texas. Bowl of spaghettios. It, it was my semi K-Kona part of the family. Like, that, the okay, cousin, okay. that those cousins are pretty K-Kona. Mm -hmm. But, like... Yeah, no, it, no, no. I have a favorite uh, <clears throat> uh, Thanksgiving dish as well. Uh, it's a... Uh, but yeah, you know? what really? Wait, are you are you are Wait, we making fun say? of me right Just now? Or are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, no, no, yeah. No. But then, <laughs> he likes the ones, yeah, yeah. He likes the ones where you, like you can cut out the little shapes but, uh, too. It was the uh, it made yeah. it made sense to me because you could just like put it next to the mashed potatoes and turkey, and it was the same color and kind of all ended up in the same you know like consistency. Yeah, bro. Next year I'm gonna throw a lobster what? on your fucking table and be like, yeah, it just fits know. right in. That's great. That's it, was, it, was right. lobster. it wasn't a until lobster. like that we did that questionnaire that I remember, like a couple kids were like, "My daddy, oh, that's weird." And I was like, "What do you mean it's weird?" Well, and then I like asked around, and apparently spaghetti was, wasn't like a Thanksgiving thing, but I just thought it was. Well, here's the uh, thing: is like I guess that might be the thing for you, but I know I know I said like a lot of us are eating the same shit, but usually like every family, like all you got. Oh, let me ask you this: all you guys usually do like some type of thanksgiving meal right correct yeah. yeah yeah yeah. i'm assuming yeah so everybody usually has like that one dish that usually is not like it's not yeah. like a traditional thanksgiving What's your dish, weird dish but it's yeah but it's there like that yeah because i mean that could so, be yours but yeah yeah actually speaking <laughs> of fine. lobster uh my sister always goes hard with her like lobster mac and cheese 
Oh, that's just that's, that's like good on any That's like her. That's good on any dish. Yeah, that's like her like signature dish. Yeah, like you're not gonna walk in with the lobster mag. No one's gonna tell you to leave. I don't care what fucking event it is. Like you can't. No one's telling you to leave. Yeah, no, that's always a big hitter, big time, dude. Yeah, mine is rice balls. Like I don't know if you guys have ever had like a rice ball. No, they're these. They're these fat. They're like this big, and in the middle you put fresh mozzarella. Mozzarella. What else? Mm. Wait, in rice? Um, I would. What okay, kind of? No, but it's you. You have the rice ball, and it's you use like sticky rice, so it sticks together, and you 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 mm. know egg wash, bread it with panko and everything. Oh, mm. but in the center, right. you put like these peas marinara cheese. Mm. Okay. On the inside. Wow. So That's then you crack though. it open, and it's just mozzarella. It's really good. Yeah, okay. that's that's my Thanksgiving. We make them on Thanksgiving and on Christmas. Is that a some kind that. of like cuisine that is from from some part of the world, or is that just a family thing? I someone think started it might doing be it. an Italian thing. I don't know. That's the family that, that makes sounds them. Italian. Yeah. The rice doesn't they like make sense. me think it's particularly Italian, but the rest of it. Huh? I feel yeah. like it's what it is. Like each family, like whatever. Because like mine's more Kona. Every time someone throws in, it's the it's the bean, it's the barbecue beans with the bacon on top, like in the big oh, pan. Oh, cowboy like, baked beans though. Yeah. That's the yeah. cowboy yeah. baked beans. Dude, yeah, that's, so you that's know what's funny? That's so good. You know, yeah, you so know good. what is kind of like takes people off guard is my family's fully Arab, like Middle Eastern, no American whatsoever. Habibi. But we Habibi, we have been going fucking hard for thanksgiving since as long as i can remember my family fucking loves thanksgiving we go harder for thanksgiving than we do for eid like Dude. this is our <laughs> this is our prime holiday of the year like this oh, is wait, the holiday that i see first all my generation or what you've are been, your parents you've been fully colonized <laughs> uh my my but this is my my parents are first ones to immigrate here yeah Oh, okay. So, so they yeah. they they came pretty early. Damn. I mean, they came like in college. Embracing just, the patriotism. I think. Though. I, I think. That. I think thanks, thanks, Thanksgiving. It's just a great. It's a great excuse for like the family meal. I think. Who gives yeah, a fuck about the actual? Yeah, that's that's, that's what. It's what it's yeah. really yeah. about, that's dude. All, the man. fact that it has no kind of like religious or spiritual context to it and it just is all about well it's, it's got being with historical the love. context it it's, does yeah. but like, like a giant fuck you to like native americans yeah not a good kind of, the food's yeah, good yeah. though you know like <laughs> but, but like damn. if you think about what thanksgiving means it really kind of is just like get your family together you know i yeah. guess be thankful for what you have but like it's mainly yeah. about like bringing family together friends together you know closing in like your inner circle yeah, yeah true. Just, I've always liked Thanksgiving. I like the it. family. The, it's just the family aspect, and then of course, yeah, no just frills. Being, being thankful. Yeah, <laughs> and know, they, like, people yeah. sort stuff out too. Like I feel like there's a lot. If there's ever family drama, Thanksgiving <clears throat> is a, a a time where either a like domestic assault happens or it gets smoothed out. It's kind of a toss up, but like you get that. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what are you? <laughs> Yeah, you think real, I'm joking, man, bro? Right. They, they, no, like, I know you're know? not joking. Yeah, I'm not joking. Like, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of like it, it's either one way or the this other. Came like, out of left field. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, nah, we've had we've had our fair share of uh, Thanksgiving family drama too. Dude. I, I, <laughs> exactly. I know, like I know, like randomly family. one year, my mom will be like, "Yeah, they're not coming this year," and I'm like, "What do you mean? <laughs> They've been with <laughs> us for the last." Do you guys have any fun? Years. And she's like, like "Yeah, he's cheating drama." Like, well, I was, was going to ask we, if you have any fun Thanksgiving drama stories to tell. Well, I, I, I wanted I'm to a ask you guys. One. I wanted to ask you guys. I, I was gonna. I had to cancel for work, but I was gonna head up to Kansas to visit Bree's uh, mother side of the family, and they're part Cherokee. And so I was wondering if I needed to bring some kind of like peace offering no. to the. <laughs> don't do that. Bro. Yeah, bring some, don't bring, do dude, bring that. me a cigarette. Do that, bro. Bring dude, cigarettes. Please. Yeah, you like got to be careful with that, dude. Please, God, don't do that. <laughs> bring some like American spirits or something. <laughs> I, saw, you know? I, saw the, <laughs> I saw the small cream. Just up open the PJ. pack and just <laughs> hand it to her like dad. <laughs> and then and no, present him your lighter. Tobacco, <laughs> tobacco is like a very traditional gift. Mm, so, like, it's yeah. not, maybe not American spirits, but like, you know, like you could do something else. I'll roast a flank of a buffalo and like that'll be my contribution to the meal. Yeah. That seems you appropriate. Go. You just yeah. can't fuck it up. Because like, I feel like with that, like it's very respectful. Like you're trying to be, you know, pay homage to like their culture. Uh, but if you fuck it up, dude, it's bad. You can't fuck it up. You got you gotta be confident. Like it's better be good. But I feel like it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Make a campfire out front, get your blanket and just like, get <laughs> the out there. Fucking flame yeah, up, fan dude. of that shit. Just build yeah. him a teepee. 
Uh, yeah. I was going to say this, uh, this Thanksgiving is the first time in almost six years I will be doing Thanksgiving because I worked before and I always worked on Thanksgiving. Oh, nice, man. Oh, this is damn. the first time in well, like six years. It's very weird. It's a weird feeling. I don't know how to, are I you to stoked? Expect. I'd be, I'd be kind of No, I'm excited. Cause like all my memories <clears throat> are just of the food, watching the lions lose and like falling asleep on the couch. <laughs> like that's, you know, it's, it's good. So PG, I'm like a big PG lions about on to, Thanksgiving, man. I swear PG is about to tear up at Thanksgiving dinner this year. Yeah, yeah, I might get a little those. emotional. We'll see what happens. But do you, uh, I'm do you have a big Thanksgiving or like a smaller Thanksgiving or like how many people? Are uh, you present? bigger, bigger with the Appalachian side of the family. Smaller mm. with the other side. Uh, I'm well, going to the smaller okay, side. they're called Appalachian Americans. Please don't say <laughs> Appalachian. <laughs> so they're dumb uh, as fuck. <laughs> well, my 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 mom always makes people give speeches. <clears throat> oh jeez, hella corny. It's like a hella corny tradition. Like I kind of like I that. I have a topic. You know, I'll, I'll, I mean, it's I cute. like corny a little bit. If it bit. goes like well, it. yeah, that's kind of nice. No, it's cute. It's cute. But like, you know, it's like, it, I mean, at this point, you know, it's coming. So like, you kind of like prep a little bit. So, you know, you, <laughs> yeah, I, always right now, I, can... I always have my tech. I always have my tech. No, I, I don't have anything written out, but like, I usually try <clears> to like hit a theme every year. Um, yeah. Is so, it thankful? Like this year, I have a pretty easy one. I'm going to have to go hard early. Like just volunteer as soon as it comes up because i know oh, people dude, are gonna i hit thought you topic. meant on like drugs and alcohol it's like you're getting blasted like early in the field. <laughs> well <laughs> that too yeah, an aggressive but, plan, but, uh, no 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 no, no. i'm gonna have to go early uh i mean we got a niece now like little baby dude i know hello people are gonna be bringing that up so i'm gonna have to volunteer to go first bring that up before anyone else uh, does yeah, mm. and then that's that's, that's my out that's you know that's my out boom that's <laughs> easy done with that's good hmm not did anybody else? Have, does anybody else have like a? Did you? Do you guys have the hams your taste? Do you guys have like a dish? The like the dish that that's like slid in with the Thanksgiving. Dude, that's pretty like um, my, not normal, I guess. My family is so fucking white. Like it does not get. <laughs> wow, that's so whiter. surprising. I would not have expected that. It does that. not get wider. I, I would okay. never have thought that. That's pretty wild. You know, Are you guys doing most... Thanksgiving on the boat? Yeah, believe. That. <laughs> is it? Um, okay, it's a it's a it's a yacht. Okay, so <laughs> don't call it a boat. Yeah, so it's gonna be on the yacht, and everybody's getting yacht masters. Is like the you know is the yeah, that's, gift. that's a little gift. No, Casey, like, does your family live in Arizona? Um, yeah, no. So Thanksgiving was for a long time like the hugest family tradition we had. Even when I lived in Connecticut, uh, my great aunt she lived in Tucson. Uh, she would host Thanksgiving probably every day for like every, every year for like 20 to 23 years. I don't know wow. until she passed away like five or six years ago. But like we we flew in from Connecticut every year. There were usually around 30 people every single time we went just like camped out at this house in Tucson. Um, and we fucking we we put down on the goddamn food. So it was, uh, it was a pretty big deal, but we never had anything like crazy. It was always fun, though, because my extended family is like pretty weird you know not not in like any particularly abnormal way but like my cousins are severely autistic like the whole <laughs> like the whole other side of the family um but they like have us. no no no. it's like not like us like autistic, not the good autistic. kind no they're like autistic and they're um <laughs> they, they come from a long lineage of like ex extreme like they wealth. watch skilling content <laughs> yeah like <laughs> No, like it's. Uh, I can't even describe how autistic they are. Okay. Like, Hold I'm on. gonna you, try my do best. You think the, do you think like the you wealth can tell by looking at them or generational <laughs> autism? Do they what? Do they what? Do you do you think their wealth perpetuated their generational autism? Yeah, I don't know. Their so their grandfather <laughs> w was like some titan of industry. So they 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 got like a nine figure like family trust fund that they just kind of all pull from, like some sort of shit like that. They're all blazingly smart. Nine figure. I had no, to it's, think about it's a lot how of money. many. No, it's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I had to actually <laughs> That's think about it. That's a lot of that. figures. But, but <laughs> no, no, I will no, no, say no. They, they haven't like squandered it. They're all blazingly intelligent and very successful. Like one of them works for Raytheon. One works on like Wall Street. And they're like my age. Um, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry about up, that, guys? man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I have you, I dude. have fun. I don't hate my life. So like have they know, eaten <laughs> at Addison But no, Jordan, these guys are so these guys are so smart that they're like a little too self-aware and they they need to like quiet the voices down. So they're yeah. all bliss the blistering alcoholics. I've, I Just I know like, a couple of people that are very autistic and they love the sauce, brother. No, they they're love like, they love it's exactly that. That's yeah, what they're, they're like I need, right I need me to shut up. 
Yeah. And no, it's like, but they get quieter, the quieter here, down. but then they get a lot louder here. And so then we yeah. got to deal with the voices. Yeah, you <laughs> are, you deal talking, with are you talking yeah, about yeah. T-Papa right now? Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not naming names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not naming names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no there was i have one good like family drama story and i'm gonna tell it because fuck them um <laughs> <laughs> like like i said big event all the families show up but one year randomly like the dad of our cousins doesn't show up and i'm like i like asked my little cousin where he was and he was like uh you should ask someone else and i was like <laughs> fuck like okay you should ask someone else <laughs> I, was, I was like what like, yeah you right. push then you push him over because he's your younger cousin next yeah no <laughs> well he's like one year younger but whatever anyway oh, okay. <laughs> um so i like i like asked my mom i was like where the fuck is you know the dad and she's like <laughs> the dad. oh um so the mother and the father actually got divorced and then the day after she said she was divorcing him he got blackout drunk and called his son and threatened to kill himself. So now he's no longer allowed to be near the children. And I was like, I should have been briefed on this. Like, <laughs> what? Why did nobody tell me that this happened, dude? Wait, how like, old were you? What the fuck? How old were you? Yeah. 16, 17, maybe. Okay, probably around enough. there. So, like, yeah. I was, you know, not like a child. I was sentient, but. Sentient. So that was sentient. a good time. <laughs> um, but, you know, Thanksgiving was still a lot of fun. Still love it. So, you know. <laughs> Dude, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've, fin I've finished a Thanksgiving, like, week and with the family and only at the end of it been briefed on the, like, hey, this was why it was really weird this year. <sighs> so, uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just so, like, laid back about mm, drama. My, you, gotta, my... you gotta tread carefully, you know? Yeah. Like, well, <clears throat> uh, like I, sometimes I don't even notice it, man. Like, people are, like, full halves of families are like not talking or don't get along. I'll be like, man, that was great. Yeah, yeah you still don't even notice. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Mashed potatoes are excited. Is that sour cream in the mashed yeah. potatoes? Yeah. yeah. People are staring um, daggers so at each other. I'm like, hey. I got, it's not uh, like my own personal drama, but just a drama in general. So like, like I said, this will be the first time in, you know, like almost six years I've like done and went to a Thanksgiving with family. And so when I was working before, like, yeah, I was most, for most of them, I'm working on like a different unit, but like I can still like, Police use the same operating system called it's called CAD and it like shows it shows what everybody's doing on there Like every single unit every division like you can go through and look at like the calls coming in and stuff like the 911 calls And like I'd sit there on Thanksgiving and I would read through like the calls that are kind of like what the like the just the standard like police are responding to and there's so many like domestic <laughs> domestic just... situations with like that involve like Thanksgiving and it would just be funny to read them because like like dispatchers they like put in notes of what's happening and it's just like you'd see all the time uh wife hits husband with frying pan uh, no uh cousin, oh cousin is throwing is throwing food and threatening to kill himself like just like there's always there's always crazy like like Thanksgiving drama shit on there. Like I would just sit there. Like that was like my drama for the day. I'd sit there and just read through those sometimes. There's all there's always something wild. It always it always <laughs> involved like the fucking food utensils always gotten like commonly were like the most involved part of it because it's just like there's so much uh, like they're close. Yeah, yeah it's just close. close it's just like they're it's, always yeah, there. That's what people are going for. So, but yeah, I thought that yeah, was food utensils are, are pretty funny. close to weapons. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, and they're, but, they're very similar. Anything can small. be a weapon. Like, there was uh, small there, weapons. There was one Thanksgiving I got in <laughs> big, big trouble. Ooh. Uh, I was Ooh. not the biggest fucking. They were not a big fan of me and my Thanksgiving this one year, dude. I was 16, like, high school shithead, bro. I think I was a Jew. Um, and when you're that age, dude, like, smoking weed and doing Thanksgiving is, like, it's, like, what you look forward to. And I'm at Thanksgiving. You know, food's going to be served soon. I'm on the side of my house, and I'm hitting a ball, dude, like. Straight up little tiny bowl, dude. Little tiny bag of weed that I got from the dealer, like the in the grade special. above me. Dude, I'm, I'm hitting the down like, someone walks outside, and I look, and it's my cousin who's way, way older than me, dude. 35. And, and I knew he had some, like, issues. I mean, I could tell he was, wasn't, like, all there. He's, like, ex-Marine, like, crazy that? alcoholic, crazy drug Ooh. addict, like, in and out mm. of rehab. I didn't know everything at the time, but like, 
He was like, no way, dude, you smoke weed. And I thought I was going to be in trouble. And he's like, dude, give me a hit, bro. And I like, <laughs> so I'm 16, dude. I smoke out like my like 35 year old cousin. <laughs> then, like, dude, like, bro, like 10 minutes later, dude. I go back inside. I'm like chilling. Someone calls me. I'm sitting outside on the phone. It's like my girlfriend at the time. Like I go back in after a bit and like everyone's like, like a lot of people are not inside anymore. There's like some like tensity in the air and I'm like, what's going on? And, like I go out to the front, dude. And everyone's out in the front yard, dude. And he's just like running across the street in traffic. Like shirt off, like, and his dad is. Bro, just, what did you give him, dude? His what dad just fucking. This is like a weed bro, experience, dude. Like you dude, smoking he took that, spice, dude. Like dude, what he the hell? Took that, he took K3. that, bro, bro, bro. He took that shit and then went and like just fucking faced a bottle of wine, took a bottle of uh, vodka. Fa- like, dude, I, oh, I fully, s- dude, pain. I fully like, dude, and he's fucking like getting naked in the street, getting tackled by his fucking dad. And like, he got butt crying. naked, not butt naked, <laughs> but okay. shirt off, you know, shoes off. Like, dude, I like okay. fully ruined Thanksgiving. Like, everyone's crying and like they're all looking at me. <laughs> dude, it was not. Crying. Did you get ratted? Not, you dude. gave him the weed. <laughs> ah, dude, they, they kind of how they know it was you, dude. Ooh. My mom's just a fucking hey, mom always knows, narc. man. Dude, she, knows. she just, dude, she literally, bro, I came outside. And I was like, what's going, like, by the time I could even figure out what's going on, I come outside and she looks at me and goes, you. And I was like, (laughs) me, Uh what? She's like, what did you do? And I was like, (laughs) what do you mean? (laughs) And she comes up to me and fucking grabs me and pulls me in and goes, (laughs) you smell like weed. You gave him weed. (laughs) She's like, you don't know he's a drug addict. And I'm like. No, I, I, mean, I fucking don't, but like, what the fuck? Like, you should have fucking told me. Maybe, you know, like, maybe no we would have been here. You knew I was a liability. What the hell, mom? Yeah. I was like, I didn't fucking know, but like, I, I, I I'm like, oh, dude, man. I, I got just fucking wrecked, man. No one liked me. The cousins all hated me. Uh, even the cousins that like normally had my back were like, dude, why would you do that? Like, that's so fucked up of you. Uh, he's clearly got <laughs> mental issues. And just, like, well, how the so hell are you worse. supposed to know? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm 16 years old. What the fuck? My, like, dude. That's I wish a family I had the tradition. self-awareness as a 16-year-old to always use that as an excuse and just be like, dude, I'm 16. What do you want from me? <laughs> well, that's the <laughs> irony of not helping the self-awareness to realize you don't have I know, but like how you know? Also, like, if that's the sick, just the word. No, if no, no. I did, not, I did not actually say that in the moment. I just was yeah, like, yeah. how would I know? Like, I, like, looking back on it, that would have actually been a reasonable excuse to be like, dude, I'm 16. You didn't be like, tell dude, me. I'm, but like, yeah, show me some grace. I'm 16. I don't know. In the moment, though, you're, <laughs> you're super like, like huh. shook and you don't know how to really defend yourself. And you're just like, I mean, case in point, like, yeah, you end up kind of admitting, yeah, I smoked weed at Thanksgiving and yeah, I gave it and kind of sent him off the rails a little bit <clears throat> did you guys at uh, thanksgiving growing up have like you have like the main dinner table where all the adults are and then the yeah, other the kids table, table. The kids yeah. table. Dude, there's yeah. levels of kids table. Well, yeah. yeah exactly I, there's I like multiple levels there's yeah if you have a big family there's a hundred percent multiple like yeah, we the had fucking the, go ahead dude, ours was adult and then it was like all the older cousins and then it was the kids table and yeah. uh on both sides of the family adam and i were part of the youngest so we were always at the like kids kids table dude i remember the first time at the adults table like getting there it was a very like oh was, was, you remember like, the transition yeah, yeah. i was like, hey, I was, yeah, like that's 18. a good feeling dude and it's i was like feeling. Oh, shit like what are we about to talk about this is gonna get uh, are there only two wine? tables for Can you guys <laughs> um, we only had two we had two tables like the little kids table and then our big <laughs> table was like 30 seats so like the younger kids would dude. sit on one end and so, then it would like gradient out to the older people okay yeah so my table is on my on the smaller side which is my dad's side of my family there's like three tables there's like the kids there's like the intermediate teenager then there's the big table mom's side which is like my massive huge extended family i mean there's hundreds and hundreds of people there's like it's like a fucking it's like a league it's like a fucking it's like we got we got all the way down to the amateur up to the professionals like there's so many different levels of fucking table for that one and like yeah the main table was a huge table with like i don't know probably 30 40 adults like it was a is a big it's a big Whoa. ordeal yeah it's just so many people That's now we have four fuck. sectors we have yeah. the grown ups <clears throat> we have the the babies kids like under 
teen, like younger than teen. And then we have like two middle sections between that are like kind of like Gen Z slash like young millennial <laughs> slash like old millennial. They don't have fucking iPads. They, they, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. They're they're it's like the they're like phone table and the iPhone. No, these are like the <laughs> these are like the these are the, the ones that range from like college age to like like adults that have their life together and have babies but are still like with it they to act know, like they have their life like together. you have <laughs> the i mean they have kids and, they have kids and families right and shit. <laughs> they have kids yeah. and families and shit and it's cool to talk about like drugs and stuff in front of them but they're still like adults you know you have yeah. those like two <clears throat> middle areas that kind of like blend together hmm. have any of you ever had a friends giving that wasn't taste giving like, have you ever been to a Thanksgiving yeah. I mean, that was just like, yeah. oh, yeah. hello. Only, yeah, only like yeah. once or mm -hmm. twice, but yeah. All right. And yeah, the thing so... is, it was just like a couple of drinks, but it wasn't too crazy. Like, we gave some gifts, had a few drinks, but nothing got too wild. Okay, I'm going to tell you the one that I ever went to that ended up being just crazy for me because, so there was this group in high school of kids that, you know, the, the popular group of kids that all end up like hooking up with each other, but only each other. And then they all end up having like their own like yeah base. It's like yeah. they have their own oh, relationships, yeah. <laughs> and then they'll all like get they all have their clique and they all like fuck each. It's weird, right? Yeah. So I had moved high schools, so I was just trying to fit in with whoever I could fit in with. Somehow, for some reason, they took kindly to me. Don't know why. They invited me <laughs> to their friends' giving, and. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It started so, and these kids, like, I went to a pretty wait, well wait, off high school. This was in high school? This was in high school, yeah. But, you guys but, were having Friendsgivings in high school? Listen, this I is different. Have. These kids were so rich. If you can ask T Papa for background if you ever talk to him, like, about the high school that I went to, but, like, Snoop was Dogg's in Vegas kid. Or where was it? Yeah, in Vegas. Snoop, God, Snoop Dogg's kid went to my high school. The person who owned every gas station in oh, Nevada. Oh, you went to that <laughs> high school? I know. I that know, I high know. school. Okay. Uh, yeah. Was they, that, they that private? Yes. So, okay. yeah, Very. I ended up somehow <laughs> getting, I got a scholarship to the school. That's the only reason why I went, because it was a lot of money. Like, it was more money than my college, this high school. <laughs> Jesus Ooh, Christ. Shit. So, anyway, that's the background of why these kids were having friends. I walk in this house, literal, probably 8,000 square foot house, and they're all Light just work. like, yeah. I'm I'm not used to this shit. I walk in, they had it all catered, like all the thing was just <laughs> tables and what? tables of food. The funny part was, is I got there a little bit late, and they were supposed to have already started because I had family. Like I I was still in high school, and my family wanted me to hang out with them before I went to this because mm -hmm. I had grandmas in town or whatever. So I showed up a little bit late. When I tell you, these kids are like sixteen, seventeen, right? So there's a full spread of food on the table. Not a single bit of it has been touched. There's a whole separate table full of just all this alcohol, drugs, allegedly. Just these dude, these kids railing shit. Just yeah, 16, that's why no not food eating. has been touched. <laughs> yeah. One 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 person that I know is just like passed on the out on the couch over there, just completely. I don't know about responsive, whatever. By the There's time just, you got there, he was passed out nobody <laughs> ate anything the whole night then these weirdos wow like, sounds like last time we were in vegas <laughs> dude, <laughs> these sounds are, like last time we were in fucking thanksgiving bro literally <laughs> literally that's why i knew you guys were late but and at some point mm. like there's only 10 of them give or take 10 of them i'm like the 11th or 12th i don't know there's like one or two other people that aren't in you know like the main their main little stupid click or whatever but at some point, like five or six of them just disappear. Like, have no idea where they went. There's still the dude on the couch, right? There's like four or five. I got some food because I'm not a psychopath. I was like, I just, this food looks great. They probably paid hundreds of dollars for it. So I just was eating some food. I wasn't <laughs> interested in, you know, railing cocaine at 6 p.m. When I was 16, I wasn't there yet. You know, I hadn't, <laughs> yeah. I hadn't yeah. developed mentally That's enough fair. for that. Yeah. So... Yeah. <clears throat> So I end up, like, there's some people sitting around, a couple of people on their phone or whatever, and then I just realized, like, where the fuck did everyone go? And I'm asking these people. They have no idea where anyone went. I, li I walk up the stairs. I go in. I'm, like, looking. There's a huge house, probably, like, eight bedrooms or something like that. Looking around, looking around, and then I hear people laughing or whatever, 
in I guess it's their parents or like master bedroom whatever I go in literal I kid you not literal orgy that's kind of sick I would, if I found out my Las school, Vegas cool. Las Vegas high school kids doing coke and having an orgy <laughs> Dude, if I find out the is that kids. just what happens when you grow up in Vegas? No, oh, no man, no, <laughs> it's it's not. <laughs> well, it As did people... so, like technically, you know. <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. Like this is, I grew up with that. It was like I told people that story, and I'm like, well, I mean, surely this is. It seems weird, but surely this has maybe happened to someone else or something similar. Or, like mm. these friends, is this mm -hmm. what friends givings are like? Like, are they just a bunch of friends We're that fucking, like? This is an orgy, actually. If I don't friends care about giving each other dome. Yeah, real. But it was so. When I tell you, I look, walked in that room. It was so fucking awkward because they didn't even act weird. <clears throat> they were just. Oh, it's like up, they were. Dude? Yeah, they were like, "Hey, you know, some girls just oh, like yeah. tied up, just fucking slobbing." And I'm just like, "Yo, what the fuck You're is like, going on? Jumping don't, in? Should don't I make leave? Eye contact with me. Come in, man. Like, you know, like, <laughs> dude, no, I was but afraid it, to talk to girls on Minecraft when I was 16. Like, that's fucking yeah. insane, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> So I was, was trying I. To, I was trying to That's get invited was... to anything at all when I was fucking 16. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck. Well now I was Pity after birthday. that I was I was tripping I was like treading lightly on anything anyone ever invited me to. I'm like, yo, are you guys are you guys normal? That's crazy, <laughs> dude. I think that's got to be deep rooted. That's they must be like, like you said, that click aspect. They must have been together for a no, long time. No, it was, and it developed yeah. even further throughout the high school experience. Like it was talked about. After that's when, like, when Max was talking about his high school reunion, I was like, dude, if I went back to my, I couldn't go back to my high yeah, school reunion. Fucking, they people, try to rope you into an orgy. <laughs> no, they <laughs> well, they don't four want days, me. Dude, I got my they don't want me involved. Four days. They had, mm. they didn't want me to do anything with it. They were just like, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, do you need something? Do you think I you would have like, jumped in if they're like, hey, like she, like she ain't busted yet. Like we need a sub. Like what are you thinking, boss? Like would you yeah, jumped tap in? Tap me out, dude. Tap me out. I need know. Like, that would have had to been a game time decision because I don't. Game time I was, decision. I was trying nah, to think real, real. what to say in that moment. I ended up walking out and just I just left. Damn. Hell yeah, left. dude. That's fucking that's cool. This you is you were the cool kid. No. Yeah, honestly, you so this you gave me a, like a memory that you said like you went there and you just ate all the food. Cause I, I dude, there's been so many events I've been to that I didn't give a fuck about. I literally just went there to eat the food. Like I was like, I'm about to go grub. Like somebody come with me, like, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Good. I'm just fucking like that's that's how much of a fat ass I am. Like I've definitely like just went to certain events and just was eating the fucking but food. Like you were saying, like you were like just trying to get invited to something. I was just happy to be invited to something and I thought it was gonna be Oh, it's friends giving. Like maybe I'll develop some friendships. Maybe they're not just like these stereotypical popular kids. But instead, mm. they were even weirder. Yeah, it was like to the and max. And even more right. like, I thought as weird yeah. as it gets. Yeah, Especially at that age. That's crazy that's at that age. That's pretty. If wild, I found yeah. out my kids were doing well, that in my room, they'd be living in a shed. Like yeah. I'd be like, when, you, when, cr you animals. I would beat my kids personally. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'd help. I would beat my kids anyways, even if they didn't do that. <laughs> that's <laughs> real shit. Real shit I feel right. like that's probably yeah, like dude. their situation is probably the product of parents who are like not very present and they have all this opportunity with money. all this money. Yeah, all this money. They yeah. can, they're just void of reality. I, I saw so, that yeah. on a lesser that's scale, sense. but it's uh, yeah. yeah. Well, same, I was thinking same. it wasn't when I say when I say or do you, I mean maybe that's an. An extreme word. They were just like, well, they were all naked on the same bed, like most for the most that's part. That's a fucking orgy. Yeah, that's pretty orgy, orgy like. like that's, 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 that's an orgy. orgy. I just yeah. didn't know. There are many orgy like. like it's not like, like I walk around. Like, you know, if it looks like shit orgy. and smells like shit, it's gonna be shit. You know. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> this is off topic, but I randomly sometimes to my like main email just get random emails and I just got an email that just says your tasty life subscription has ended. So if anybody wants to hook me up. <laughs> any gifters? Thanks, guys. Any gifters <laughs> in the chat? Send one. Send my mom. Man, that was off topic, but just yeah. I saw that and I was like, why am I getting this email? I never. I I don't know what the fuck is with Twitch. Maybe you guys have that too, but they be email. I don't me. get the Partner email. Plus, I get the notification, and then as soon as I see it in my like box, I just I go to that chat and I start begging for gifted. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's real uh, panhandling. I respect that honestly. I mean, yeah, it true, works. True. So like, why not? Oh yeah, yeah. it works every time. It, yeah, I like when you know, nine, nine range expect... tour is good. You know, if nine range shows up, like you, you can probably yeah. someone will probably hook him up. You know, exactly. Yeah, you know, I never expect anyone to subscribe to me, but I do expect you to beg for a gifted. All right, you got to bait at least <laughs> once to three times, and then and then you're clear. Yeah, guys, I'm a Andrew. disgusting human being. I know. Is this the bender? Are we gonna talk about your bender? I was about to ask you, like, what can we, can I we get into? I am a fucking. I don't know what. 
comes that's, over. That's Bro, what, what I said. I... It's like, you're a fucked up human being because it's like, you got that bonus, right? You got like this big paycheck. You're feeling good about yourself. And instead of like most people are like, like I'm going to treat myself. But your version of treating yourself is absolute self-destruction, Just jumping off, the fucking, yourself. off yeah. a 30 foot fucking building. Like you're fucking insane. You know, like Wait, you did, is this story going to be sick? I don't know. Cause I got a bag of Coke in my bathroom. Like, all my <laughs> 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 don't inspire me. Dude, well, I don't know, it's man. It's Tuesday, bro. It's By literally way, Tuesday. He told us at the end of the, of the bender, it has to be Patreon only. So. Shout no, out. no, no, the The end of the story is definitely going to be Patreon only. Hold on a second, okay. though. I didn't okay. hear. I didn't know about the part of you falling off the building. I just saw the snaps, and I was like, "Dude, no, there was no falling no, was, off the that building." Just, That's that a figure. That was a metaphor. That was a metaphor. Yeah. metaphor. I, was like, I, I don't know how. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I say, like, dude, it's not that. You know, when people say, "Oh, you go so hard," I'm like, dude, it's not. It's just like a meme. Dude, you sometimes. had a whole it's confessional not. cam thing about that. You were like, oh, people always expect me to do let me, the Let thing. me try my oh, CRT. No. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me right. try my CRT training real quick, okay? It's been a while, but let me try it. I <clears> want to <throat> see that footage, by the way. Wait, here here we go. That. I got you. Hamzy, it looks like you're very upset. I can see you're very upset. Is there anything do you, you want to tell us? Dude, I'm not upset about anything. <laughs> I just am like... That was good. Bro. That was good. That was good. Like, <laughs> that was good. I want to I, I genuinely sometimes don't understand where I find power to the thing. Like, Wait, let me let me get in again. Let me get in, let me interject you with the training here. Okay. I hear what you're saying and I, I understand you, but where where do you think it is coming from? Okay, keep going. It's coming from within. <laughs> from within. All right. Let me give you the fucking rundown of of what I did and like the amount of hours I was just on go go mode. I, dude, I saw the Snapchats, uh, dude. What the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. that? What the so, fuck is that, dude? So, so, uh, so, you know what's funny is I actually <laughs> had originally uh, scheduled this time off from work for leagues, for RuneScape leagues, and I got it approved. And then, like, sh like right after it gets approved, and I'm like, dude, I'm fucking buying groceries and snacks and energy drinks and Pocket pussy. and yeah. and and, and <laughs> uh, shout out pussy. tasty thank you for the banger by the way and gotcha, then buddy. um and and then after this is already set my boys are like yo sammy's 30th birthday miami fucking massive weekend bender fucking didn't even sammy, tell me dude. he was going fucking sammy Talking i literally sammy told you in vegas <laughs> no, you said you were gonna tell me on Tuesday if you were gonna go, so I could go, and then you. Oh, didn't even oh, tell yeah, me. yeah, but dude, it's like if you see what I was, the state I was in from the moment I got there to. So, bro, okay. we could have fucking Normandy Beach that shit, bro. I could have carried you dude. up the sand, bro. We could've, we could've, <laughs> I was Normandy <laughs> Beach hit myself. <laughs> I I okay I so been the, I would have been the other tower to your tower. Yeah, man. bro, the so, Germans uh, just would have been fucking people fell in together, Miami, man. bro. Just would have been fucking. Okay, so away. so so the bros tell me that uh, we're doing this Miami trip, and I'm like, okay. I mean, I would fucking hate myself. It's Sammy's thirtieth. I mean, you can't miss that. I'm, I'm not can't. gonna pass this up to stay at home and play for <laughs> RuneScape for the week. Um, the hell, man. League starts on Wednesday Ouch. morning. Ouch. I stream from. Wednesday, 10 a.m. until 6 a.m. the next morning. Oh, yeah. And I pack my bag and immediately hop on a flight. You're such Miami. a psycho, dude. I hate I you. I remember this, dude. I you, were know. you were delusional. You raided me at the end of that stream, and you were delusional. I <laughs> raided you, and I, I don't even think I said a word, dude. I think I just immediately No, you bounced. typed nonsense, and then fucking like I, I typed something that didn't make sense, and then I just fucked off. <laughs> yeah, that's um, what you did. So we got there. Uh, immediately by the time I get there, all my friends have already got there the night before. So I go meet them at this pool party that they're at. Uh, nothing too crazy. I wasn't really like, I mean, I wasn't getting too fucked up, but like, mind you, I was going on no sleep. I'm over 24 hours at this point. Uh, I'm kind of taking it easy. It's close to my hotel that I'm staying at. Uh, so we, we, I, I did take it easy overall that night. We went to dinner. Uh, we went to a club after I was in bed by 2 a.m. But again, I had done 20 hours stream before. This is like 36 hours, I think. Uh, and then I wake up Friday noon. This is when it just starts. I wake up at noon on Friday. 
I go to the beach, beach party, go from there, home, get ready, free game. We go to this club, Boho House. I'm getting into Boho House by midnight. The fucking sick club, open air, very nice. Wait, I just Beautiful. heard noon and now it's midnight. What happened? I went from, Dr uh, I, went it, from I woke Drink up it. at noon. I went to the beach, beach party. Went from the beach party back to get ready. By the time I got ready, it was time for uh, the pregame. I'm at the pregame <laughs> by 8 p.m. So we go noon, straight to the beach, wait, wait, wait. back to the hotel. <clears throat> Just pause. You got into the club at 12 a.m. and you started a pregame at 8 p.m. You pregamed for three hours. No, 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 no. Hours. Four hours. Well, probably three-ish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we get to the pregame <laughs> by 8. Oh, Jesus. We get to That's the, the pregame by 8. That's a, yeah, get, this is a whole ass why I said it's a whole ass Well, party. this is also birthday shit. So, Sammy's you know, 30th. Love... Sammy's 30th. Crazy time. I get it. Yeah, Come yeah. On, it's also Miriam's. It's also Miriam's 29th. Yeah, I mean, so this is a joint. Stuff. Dude, and I got to say, dude, joint birthdays are fucking lit, bro, because you get different crews. You know, you get the mm -hmm. mutuals all together. Joint birthdays, dude, dude they're fucking pretty dope. Man, and so, so, so pregame from eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a swig. That's fucked yeah. up, bro. So pregame yeah. goes from eight. So pregame goes from eight p.m. to midnight. At this point, twelve hours, nothing. We stay at this club boho house until maybe four. We go back to the post game. We're chilling. And what then, time the clubs? What time does the club close down there? I thought a lot of them closed at like. Dude, three. Miami doesn't fucking close. It really? doesn't fucking Miami close. Does Let me tell you this Miami's next part, sick. bro. This is when it really gets kicked off. I guess I this is like the part where so we're sorry. getting home at 4 a.m. post game. And all the people are like, you know, we're going to take it easy. We have a, a long day ah. tomorrow. The next day was the boat party. So people don't want to like go two out. It's 4 a.m. at this point. Maybe we should get some sleep. Bro, the can I tell you just real quick? The Snapchat you sent of you on that boat you look like you were a fucking extra from The Walking Dead and you're about to turn, bro. Like, you look like yeah. you're about to oh, turn. Dude. Like, I remember that You look snaps like the fucking, the dude. virus was in you. And you're, you're the oh, the vial, virus was manifesting sun, inside of me sun, all weekend. The eyes were sinking in. You're like, I'm about to turn into a zombie, bro. The, 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 the virus was manifesting in me all weekend. So at this point, we've, we've left the club. We're 4 a.m. Uh, post game. Uh, everyone's kind of taking it easy. Me and my boy, who... He loves house music just as much as I do. Like, genuine love for the music and the culture of the music. And if you don't know what a club in Miami called Space is, you absolutely should. You went to this Space? This is... Yes. I hate this you. Is, Dude, I this is... This is... Would you do dude, dude you're gonna hate me. So he could tell me this and make me. Hate you're gonna me. hate me even more when <laughs> you're gonna hate me even more when I tell you who I saw. So, so, dude. so it's 4 a.m. Me and my boy go to space. Space is the fucking mecca of house music within the United States. Like it genuinely is the best club. It's the most iconic club probably in the whole country for house music. And who happens to be playing there that night, dude? Two DJs, Dennis Cruz and Pausa, just started a new project together called Golfos, and this was their U.S. debut at Space. Their set starts at 5 a.m. And ends at so, 10, I think, right? right or something. We go from, from the post game. We take an Uber, me and my boy. We get there. Boom, right at 5 a.m. They're starting. We're fucking little demons, dude. Oh, it's 5 a.m. So late. No way, dude. This is so... No way. We're still awake. Oh, my God. Fuck, dude. Dude, it's fucking 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. I'm running into people that I know somehow in Miami. I don't even know how the fuck... Like, who are you people? How, like, what are you doing here, man? We don't leave space till 1030. It's open air somewhat. It's like half open air. Like, it's open air enough to where the light shines in and you can tell it's fully fucking daytime. Bright, blasting. I'm like pretty sure it closes at, a, it closes at 11. In the world. 
<laughs> no, no. There's no way it closes Even at 11. Even hearing dude. about that There's gives me anxiety, like bro. I don't know if it closes at 11 because, <laughs> dude, dude, we dude, left dude, at... Do you look up and see the light coming in? Yeah. You're like, oh, we uh, left when, I look at, when I look outside and it's full-blown daylight, I feel the biggest sense of dread in the world. <laughs> yeah. like, dude, ah, we left like at... No, no. Good. That's when it... Act, okay, okay. So here's the thing about space, actually. And Miami, I guess, kind of in general, is there's like a whole wave of people at like 7 a.m. that were rolling into the club that looked like they didn't go out the night before and they had just woken up with fucking coffees and they're all freshly showered, looking clean and nice and smelling good. Like they're starting. They wake up early and start that and come to the club. 7 a.m. They show because... up at 6, 7, 8 a.m. And they actually say, dude, I actually heard from many people that 8 a.m. is the sweet spot for space because <laughs> all the wow. people... Because people are all sleeping. the people, <laughs> because all the people that are like super drunk, idiot, aggressive, uh, are done, passed out by uh, then. Oh yeah, you so have the wave of, like of people. A vibe yeah, so deal. so at yeah. that point, you have the people that are waking up and coming in the morning. You also have anyone that's still up from the night is just like really having a fucking great time and loving life. That's what I was gonna so, tell you is a long time ago I went to Miami and I had no clue. I, I just I didn't even look at what the times were if they closed, but the clubs I went to, I think it was like two or three were like, all right, let's get out of here. Because that's what was happening. The aggressive drunk people were everywhere, like it was kind of sloppy, it's hot as yeah. fuck. We we're just like, let's get out of here. Yeah, and and like 8 a.m. really was like the energy at eight was, dude, it was fully bright, man. <clears throat> it like all of a sudden makes sense to wear like I've been wearing my sunglasses all night, and all of a sudden it like makes sense to wear my sunglasses again. Cause now it's bright. Like I've been wearing them in the dark all night and now it's like bright, and I'm like, shit, it's like I guess I'll keep them on now. <laughs> and so we leave at like 10 30. Uh we sit on the curb, smoke like back to back cigarettes, and then by the time we get back to the hotel, it's 11.15. We have our boat at noon. So we shower. I oh put my on my, breeze, my, my zebra button down. And we go straight on the boat. We um, party on the fucking boat until like 8 p.m. Pause for a sec. When you were taking that shower, when you closed your eyes, did you almost fall over? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. dude. I'm, I'm tired. I, I didn't close my eyes. Yeah, bro. I, my eyes were wide I fucking open, brother. My eyes. My, I, I didn't close my eyes. I'd even fucking blink. I believe it. <laughs> Just stand in the shower. I believe like, it, dude. Boat, and, yeah. uh, and, and, and they took us the boat. We rented this boat. Actually, we rented two boats that took us to, because we're 24 people and they only allow like 12 per boat. We had two boats and they took us to this like area where they have all these boats that dock. Not dock, but like anchor in the middle, and they all party together, and you like rope up, and you just yeah. like some fucking little party pirates, dude. You just like hop on other people's <laughs> boats and seize their alcohol and drugs, seize and, their assets, yeah, yeah, like and pirates, um, yeah, and 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 we just go ham, and and we don't get back till like eight p.m. Now it's fucking eight p.m. So you're going out at this point. It's time to go to the pregame. We go to the pregame now. Wait, what day is it now? Is it Sunday? What day are you on? No, this is Saturday night. We woke up Friday at noon. Thursday night, he got there. And Thursday then... night, we slept. Friday, we woke yeah. up at noon. By the time okay. the boat's done, we are now Saturday, 8 p.m. Okay, gotcha. We you. go back, another shower. Now it's time get on the sexy fucking And so, we go to the so pregame. Been, this, is this is enough. 32 was... hours, right? This is a 32-hour mark. Uh, at noon to 8 p.m. next day. Yes, 32 hour mark. We now go to the pregame. Pregame again till midnight, and then we go to uh, 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 11. Which you went to 11 and space in one, bro. Fuck <laughs> you. I went to 11 and space in one. <laughs> Dude, the, I went to Boho House, 11 so good, space bro. and a boat party. In one this sleep. was the most legendary Miami weekend, and he's just like, "Yeah, fuck him, Dude. bro." So, so, fuck so, him. so now we go to eleven, bro. and uh, I guess now what is this? Thirty-six hours. I'm assuming so that you weren't just drinking this all these days either. Oh, I was fucking drinking, and I was doing other things as well. I I get to eleven. So like eleven what? is this fucking massive club in Miami, which is like. 
how do I describe it? It's like a club. It's like a hybrid club and strip club and circus. Oh, Ooh. okay. That's a lot going on there. I like Based that. Miami is the next one. I'm telling you. And, and so uh, basically it's a club uh, dance, whatever. Yeah. Cool. In the middle, God. there's acts going on like, like fucking acrobats. And dude, there was this acrobat woman and dude who were doing the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, I don't know. They're dangling with by their ankle from so high up, like doing like literally hanging by life by a thread. And they just full. So were you, to you be know? fair. Yeah, I mean, in <laughs> some, in some sense, I was. Sense. Yeah. And, and during their act, dude, the he same. just throws her up and he just like would start like eating her pussy. <laughs> and what the fuck yeah whoa yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa wait dude. what do you dude. mean by that <laughs> what dude, do you like mean it's by a that? guy and a girl I like acrobat. He was it's like clear, a, dude i don't know <laughs> no it's a it's a it's an acrobat act that just has some like sexual oh like, go on like he so... lifts her like he lifts her up spins her around puts her and then just you know <laughs> no i've I'm not seen <laughs> that no time stamp that time stamp yeah. that time stamp that one <laughs> <laughs> I understand like Max it in a the theoretical watermelon. way, but just yeah. I feel like seeing that would... And yeah, I that's... stayed there. Dude, so there's strippers as well. You know? on the Like, like oh, they no. come find you, grab yep. you. Oh, yeah. Take oh, you no. wherever. And, it's not good. And, uh, you're you not want to know what mind, happened dude, next... After, dude, after 30 hours plus, you are not in the mind frame to deal with a stripper, dude. I, you dev Okay, no, yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. Go no, ahead. No. <laughs> You could have got manipulated by a fucking poster board, much like so like there a was. Uh, <laughs> there was some of that going on, and if you want to find out what happened at eleven, you're gonna have to listen to the Patreon pod. Bro, you honestly sold it so good. Bro, I can't say I cannot no. say. I cannot Listen, say I, I'm gonna what pay happened. for the Patreon right now. Do that. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely like. I don't what even know if I want to say. Like, I'm going to, but like, I'm like. You just gotta be honest, I, with us, bro. Just let it out. We're not gonna judge you. Okay? I'm gonna let it out. Yeah, I'm gonna let okay. it all out on the on the Patreon pod. Listen, so just, just to let all of you know that you do know watch. you can do a free week. Uh, you can do a free week and then cancel after whatever, dude. But like, that's the only way you're ever gonna fuck it. Like you with a knife to my throat. <laughs> this is the only time you'll ever get this information out of me. All right. Okay. Just so I get home at 6 a.m. And Dude. pass out. Wake up at 9. Take my flight home. I don't get home. That must have been home. a rough one, bro. I had a, my flight. My connecting flight gets fucking you have a connecting? Delayed. Oh, my God. No. I get oh. home at 9 p.m. <sighs> Sunday night. After three hours of sleep, after 40 something hours, I don't know, at this point, noon to 6 a.m., two days later. And uh, three hours, three hour nap, get home at 9 p.m., sleep, 7 a.m., I'm clocking in for fucking work, baby. Oh. Full suit. And Ty. I get, I clock Everything. in for work, dude. I get home, 4 p.m., stream start time. Let's fucking play some RuneScape, boy. I stream. Why are that. you proud of this? I I stream. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I streamed until two a.m. and then today went to work again at seven. Dude, what? That, wait, this just happened. I get off. I get off Man, work it today. Is fucking, it's Tuesday. Dude, I get off work today at four. <laughs> I get off work today at four. I come home today, five p.m. Fucking Sebe cast, dude. Check it out. Shout it's out. already live. Oh, yeah, uh, we do out. the Sebe cast from five to eight thirty, nine p.m. Base pod starts. And to be honest, now you look great. Right now it's 10.42. Yeah, you're and, uh, right, nice. let me, you look great. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm also here. realizing me, you just don't need sleep. Where are the bags play? under your eyes? Let me, let me go back. Let me take back to the training here. Some CRT. So it sounds like you've been through a lot. And I hear what you're saying. <laughs> it seems like you're very distressed. But you're, you're proud of this behavior. But I want to tell you that even though it's real to you and it's good to you, to us it's concerning. And we're worried about you. <laughs> This is this is an intervention. This is not a podcast. Well, hold on. None it's, of us are recording. Okay. <laughs> well, they're all um, concerned. I'm not concerned because as far as I'm concerned, we are no longer friends. <laughs> we are no longer friends. You're valid for that, bro. Why did you, you, no way you didn't tell the boy who lives in Florida. He who knows no. the area. See, who here's the thing. Here's the thing. He lives in Orlando. No, here's the thing. It's an hour drive. Here's the thing. So. 
if he wouldn't have told me he was going to tell me, then I would have been like, fine, you know, do your thing. But he's like, bro, I got you. If I'm going, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> and then he has the nerve to then go to Space and Eleven in the same fucking trip. Okay, uh, well, it's also not, not friends. like... We're not friends. Okay, okay, not okay. Friends. But it's not like I wasn't Snapchatting you literally every step of the way. Like, you, you saw Snapchat. where I was. <laughs> that made it worse. Because I'm like, dude, <laughs> you saw where I was, bro. Dude, you could have literally been like, dude, I'm on my way. I thought you were auditioning for the new Dawn of the Dead, bro. I didn't know what you were doing down there. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to plan for that shit, bro. I was like, I got to leave. I got to tell people, like, I got to tell them, hey, I'm not going to be back on Sunday because I'm going to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, be somewhere. That I'm gonna be somewhere, somewhere unrecoverable, oh. unfindable. Like, find my iPhone doesn't reach this point. That type of shit. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, the location services are disabled. This is one of those weekends. Anyway, yeah. So I don't know who this guy is anymore. But continue. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> on to on to the next. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, cry. I don't know, dude. You're I'm not. Just, like I said, bro. I was just on go go mode. I just be yeah. go going. Honestly, really dude, go let me tell you this. Your bender story, like, I've, I thought you were going to have, like, a good bender, but this blew pores. It blew definitely past. Like, you exceeded expectation with this, for sure. I was not ready for all that. That was a lot. That was, uh, that was quite an experience. Oh, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. And people kept on the boat, like, people kept coming up to me on the boat and were like, you haven't slept since, like, you didn't sleep last night. Like, they, like it's all the people that I was at the club with the night before. They all went to sleep, and I went to space and then went straight onto the boat. And they're like, you didn't sleep? Like, how are you, like, functioning? <laughs> how are you okay? <laughs> and, then, and then, like, dude, the most crazy thing about it is, like, after, uh, after the boat, you know, we went to this pregame, and, like, half the crew from the boat drops off. They don't go out after because they're like, oh, we had such a long day on the boat. They don't. They don't know what it takes to be Hamzy, bro. I don't think anyone. Oh, uh, like I'm still out from yesterday. Understands what it takes to be Hamzy. How many four locos did you consume down there? Oh, zero. Oh, that's, that's good, probably the key. That's, that's probably good. the key. Actually, no, that is that's that's six hundred and sixty <laughs> yeah. that'll calories. You. That'll, that'll bog you down real quick. Yeah, that'll that might weigh you down. A malt liquor um, kind of gets you. Yeah, uh, not a single <clears> damn. <throat> I was going to tell a Bender story, but now I, I'm just not, like, because that's... <laughs> it won't be as good. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, I'm not even going to well, tell I did, it. Uh, I did want to ask, um, <clears throat> my only question for, uh, since you guys are on here, Crylax and Nine Ring, the, we've all talked about our TwitchCon Las Vegas experience. Uh, if you guys have anything to share about that, the good moments and bad moments, I know that Crylax was kind of with us in the trenches, but Nine Rain, uh, he was, you know, doing his own thing, had the, had the, had the wife with him, had a couple tummy aches, so, uh... Bro, I'm curious. Uh, I actually well, have a well, crazy well, story from TwitchCon. Okay. Uh, next podcast, it's it's Patreon worthy. It's pretty. Oh. Uh, okay. You're we'll, gonna we'll be leave, here next podcast. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Okay. I, All right. But it's it's good. It's good. Like, I, there's a, I had to leave the um, based party like that. I, I, you I, left I just, very early. You left yeah, suspiciously well, early, and it hurt my feelings because I thought that early. you didn't like it. What was no, going no, on there? No, I. Uh, I had. A, I wish I could have stayed. I okay. had committed to doing two really things that? that night, and I did two things. And the second thing is the story that I'll tell you guys because it was. Uh, okay. I don't know. I, my hands were full. <laughs> okay. That's fine. My so, hands were full. Uh, yeah, but no, it, it, I got a good story. It'll be fun. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. You like that? <laughs> my hands were full. All TwitchCon. Yeah. <laughs> My TwitchCon experience, I mean, everyone in this call besides Aaron kind of knows what I had going on. I uh, was you had called a, a real fun little TwitchCon experience, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I did, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Wait, I'm actually curious. <laughs> I was I was called by not uh, colloquially by a couple of people, um, the Scarface of the RuneScape section after after TwitchCon. The Scarface. The bro. Scarface. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's yeah. what I was called. I don't. I don't really. I get it, but I also don't get it. Me and uh, one one thing I would like to say: if Defy J watches this um, podcast, me and Defy J bonded over a lot of some alleged experiences that alleged. Um, alleged experience. We are war veterans now. Like I think he's on the list of people I would die for. It's See, it, it got to that point. We had a we had a bonding are on moment. The list of people that you would die for? Not many. Four. Not many. I would say less than ten. So he he's made it. 
He's Damn. Made. That's yeah, that's that's real for sure. I was yeah. really cool seeing him. It was really I feel like we all we've all have wanted to beat him for a long time. It was we all I yeah. we all bonded because I had a good conversation with him as well. That was uh more formal, but uh, it yeah. was really nice. Craps was awesome. Um we won money, even though T Papa and Max stayed there and lost all of it like I knew they would. Yeah. Um, which is, that was after just to be just to be clear that was the plan the whole fucking the time. whole time okay. yeah. <laughs> was, fuck, the funniest money. part is is Krylax literally we're at this we're, we're at the dinner Joel Rubichon Michelin star place and like this is the night we're gonna do the podcast and I'm like and they're like we're just gonna go gamble for an hour and I was like no you're not you're not gonna gamble for an hour no one does that yeah, of, this course place is a of course not of course we weren't gonna, gonna do that but we had to say hours. that that's not the to thing make you is, feel the better. is is that Krylax is the funniest part was like was telling you guys over over and over again not to do it that was my favorite part you kept fucking we were gonna do it the whole we were gonna <laughs> no it. here's the thing like before we even went before we even uh, went to the dinner i was like dude they're going i told him i like i told seth they're going to gamble afterwards yeah. and they're not going to be back i told i was like this back. is this is literally what's going to happen yeah. and you came back at like 3 a.m or 4 a.m right, we were, we were like one that. hour late to the podcast bro that, that was, that's fucking was predictable okay. shit dude. Okay. yeah yeah no no, no exactly but i didn't we knew it was going to happen I he was he was dude, like yeah man, I think I think we'll be good I was like dude you need to be prepared to run the podcast because they are not going to be back I yeah, promise we you. fully were ready to just do it yeah, yeah I was guys. prepared I, yeah. we started the pod and I was texting Max like where the fuck are you guys okay. don't did we had it all under control you guys it was no planned. you didn't. Um, from no, you didn't. <laughs> Immaculately from the start. Not even close Everything to... worked out exactly how I knew it was going to work out. No, it didn't. You know, you know that you wanted okay. to actually win money at the craps table and leave and come back and be like, he yeah, did. we made three nah, grand. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, you did not. No, no, no. Absolutely not. I would never. I hate winning money. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I just want to listen. That's some good copium you have there. Yeah, I mean the shooter arc was awesome. My gambling arc was honestly kind of insane because I went down. Dude, the shooter arc was dude, I watched Krylax sit at the table with me where I was doing pretty good, and he was just getting blasted, dude. Getting blasted. The worst hands. 15, bro, 12, 15. 13, 15, bro. I lost like 300 oh. bucks, immediately went to chuck it all on roulette and won that, thankfully, or I would have just been out oh, everything. Thank God. I'm glad you did, dude. That was so funny because I like, like I was sitting at this table, like, I was doing really well. This was a, at, at that point, that was when I was up like in total for the trip, like probably seven eight hundred dollars, which is great, you know, especially being wow, like one of the last days of the, especially being one of the last days of the trip. And like I'm sitting there and I like I keep I would keep glancing up at Krylax and she's like 13. And then she comes around to me, gives me a 20, and I just kinda look at him. Oh. And he just he just hits, loses, you know, fucking just did, every did time. Did you pull out? Did you time. did you pull out with money? I never pull out. I'm no, okay. I so what happened with me is is I was like done gambling. <laughs> and Yo, of what course happened with me was everybody uh fucking everybody wanted to stay there and keep gambling and at first i like kind of stood around i was like i'm i can't do this i like i need to play so i ended up playing and i, I ended up leaving up 100 bucks in total i did hey, one last time that is it counts that's a w. not bad not 100 bad bucks, 100 bucks that dealer it. looked over to me after like six straight hands of getting fucked she looked over to me she's like yeah a lot of people hate that seat i was like <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of people hate that seat no i was shit. like well like uh, i wonder fucking why she was, like, yeah. cursed, bro. she was getting mad at me because every time you got that ham i kept saying brutal i kept that's what i kept saying yeah, brutal. She, i was like that's brutal she and she was like the brutal guy and i was like hey stop fucking my boy dude like, <laughs> <laughs> give him a fucking decent hand <laughs> the brutal dude, guy buddy. Oh, you got so a bad. sassy dealer <laughs> yeah she good. was sassy you know and then at the end of the night i literally tried to i just rolled 100 on roulette because they were all on craps and I was bored and I was like let me just go over to roulette and check 100 real quick which is what that's why you leave the fucking casino because mm -hmm. that shit happens and this this roulette table hit double zero twice in a row holy Ooh, that's, Man. that's unfortunate eh bud but that is very other than that the, the party went off without a hitch Cody said he's going to show me the confessional cam experience. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to see, I wanna see those. I haven't seen that. Will be I can't vlogs. wait for that. It will be in the vlog. The vlogs are in the works. The, we're, I'm doing yeah, like multiple at a time, but the vlogs will be posted on this channel. Actually, on the base channel, the vlogs will be posted. It's all done through my GoPro, and then we have the confessional. Actually, we got a decent bit of stuff up there that was pretty funny. So I've yeah. watched it. It's pretty hilarious. You, you guys cool. are like... It's my favorite is like the fucking the Hamzy and Krylax stories are, are like just sitting there talking is definitely some of my favorite. It's it's pretty good. It's good stuff. <laughs> I will say the trip. I mean, overall, it went off without a hitch. And the one thing I did want to say about this about the Vegas podcast is at the timestamp of one hour and twelve minutes. And this is like Precise. getting serious for a sec. But Seder 
said his his what he said from that point on really i know what you're me, talking about i love that made me feel warm inside that made me feel like the last three years like were worth every fucking day and i don't know it made me just happy to be a part of uh a base and the homies i was just mm. very happy proud damn of now i gotta watch that bro Definitely having that it. having that perception of the last three years and someone else coming from outside especially Sater, who's like a pillar in the community and I don't know, to commend us like that, I was like, damn, like that really feels good, especially and even more so on you guys, because obviously I'm just I mean, I'm still a part of everybody, but I'm not, you know, in the whole growing of everything anymore as much. But you guys have really even in the last year, have done a fantastic job. And I think, hey, bro, <clears throat> you're technically, you're technically founder, handshake. founder, big, uh, you know, big former member. But obviously, like that's what I'm saying, like it doesn't matter if you're not technically on the team, Any, pretty much everybody who's like been on the base uh, team or whatever. And like they just quit streaming or whatever. Like it's still we're still on all the discord. Just still we I still invite like when we do stuff. We invite everybody to everything. You yeah, know? it's like pull not up even being sure. on the team. It's just like you guys have, are putting out the content that is growing the group in a way and yeah. spreading it out. I'm not putting out the content and that's fine. Like mm -hmm. that's that's just that's why I'm like commending you guys because you that's work that you guys are putting in. Like my work is going elsewhere. So. Yeah. Shout Dude, your out. work is being trip dad, you know, even for, you know, you're not, most, <laughs> true, you're, not most, like, you're not the most like mature and like, like, oh, like, not like, like you're mature, but I'm saying you're not the oldest like guy, you know, like, you're like, you're not like, some, like 35 year old man, but like, Crylax definitely, he's like, he definitely glue, he's glue, he te keeps oh, shit like yeah. moving, keeps, you know, he's definitely the glue for sure, so, one day when we have a private jet, he's gonna charter it for us, so thanks man, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for private jet number two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh. <clears throat> okay, I have uh there's one Patreon topic. If you want to cover that and then do the Twitter workshop. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me pull it up here. This is for Mr. Lukey JD. Thank you for sending in topics. Also, if you are a patron, send some shit in. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a bad question. Send it. Maybe we could turn to something good. Just send that shit in. But if uh thank you. We will answer them on the regular cast too, unless we don't have time for it. Um Lukey asks, so what's the female equivalent to a man's confidence boost when he gets a haircut? Which is actually a, a decent question. Wait, wait, read that again. He's saying like when you get a haircut, um, like it's like a it's the confident boost. He's saying what's the female equivalent yeah. to that? <laughs> How the fuck do I know? A <laughs> 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 girl, a <laughs> girl, bro, I don't a clue, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> when you did a have girl, more a girl hair. going live on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also getting a haircut. That was a little. That was a little. That was what a little. That's supposed to be, buddy. Uh, yeah. Good thing Zoe's not here. I don't think she would like that uh, answer you have there, pal. <laughs> that's why. Are you good. still fucked up, bro? You good? Oh. Have you slept? It doesn't matter. Sleep. So, okay. what is the girl's <laughs> equivalent to a guy getting a haircut? Yeah, like what's I, I would say I would say getting the nails done for sure. The nail time, hundred percent. I mean, when they get their hair done too, like if we're is this like a real question yeah. or are we supposed to be funny? Because uh, you can answer whatever you want. <laughs> are we supposed to be. Funny? You can answer whatever you want, but yeah, I would say I would say the, the nails in there. But it's crazy how much they pay. I don't know, like if you guys nails have are got into the like the lot. the statistics of like what women are paying for like getting their hair done. They're like, yeah, I paid one hundred and eighty, but she gave me a deal. I'm like. No, she robbed you with a gun. That doesn't sound <laughs> she like she robbed you blind. <laughs> to be like fair, they get it. Do it all. They get their hair done like once every couple months, and we get haircuts like, you know, once a month. Well, I, I mean, Max every three doesn't. Days. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, technically, but so. um, I but I mean, you know, you're I right. Think, I think there's the guys who do like the the biweekly cut or the weekly cut, and then there's guys who just kind of let her just kind of let it roam. Just depends. I'm letting it roam right now, for sure. Yeah. It depends on what you die. do too, because like you know, some guys like the barber is like that's their spot. I'll tell you what it is. I figured it out. Okay. It's when a it's when a girl takes a big shit and feels real skinny for the day. What the hell? They check the themselves out and they're like, uh, <laughs> and then they they feel good. Oh man, that's actually that that's just, probably real as fuck. Uh, no, it is. <laughs> like, that's that, so real. <laughs> that or just waking up in the morning, because like that's I feel like this for girls. Like, when you wake up in the morning, and especially if you're a little dehydrated, and you look yourself in the mirror, and you're like, okay, like, shit. <laughs> yeah, all right, I look good yeah. today. Fuck. That's a, that's like an almost married man's wisdom right there. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Real, he's got. Yeah, he's that got one's it free. Online. That one's free. That's no Patreon free for wall okay. for that one. No, that's that's good. Fuck. Mm. I'll I'd say like. uh Nah. 
sense. I'm like, yeah. Okay, okay I actually like that better than if you said one. Yeah. Like, I'll <laughs> okay. say nah. nah yeah, I'll say nah. Yeah, we'll pass. <laughs> oh, shit. That's we'll funny. Pass. I think those are all uh, you set answers. us up, Luki, per usual. Like, that's just what he does. <laughs> per usual. <laughs> per I mean, usual. They, he's, that's the thing. Shout out to Luki. He'd be sitting in the topics. He's, he's, trying, his, he's trying his best. Um, I do have yeah. one more topic here. It's a fucking... Mm -hmm. um, apparently, Alex Jones has created a video game. <laughs> I saw something Called, about that. Is that what do you mean a video game? It's sentence, can you brief us on this, please? So you have more information. I know you read into it more. Okay, so yeah, I watched the trailer, and it's basically like Alex Jones is being self-aware with this video game, but he's finding the global elite scum, and like is basically like old retro <laughs> Nintendo games. So like you just, it's a shooter. Is it a just, side scrolling shooter? Yeah, it's a That's side scrolling so low shooter. Effort. I hate that. And there's like doctors trying to fucking plug you with needles and give you the vaccine and shit. Okay, that's funny, but that's not a game. That's like a machinima. That's like addicting games five minutes of life. Dude, it's 45 minutes long. So it's like, it's a decent side scroller. It's actually ridiculous. $18. That's too much. That's not going to make $18. Bro, maybe three and a half on Steam. Exactly, Bro. yeah. Holy fuck. Uh, I know I just, he kind of got done dirty with the, the lawsuit. I think they probably should have just shot that's him. That's why I can just imagine uh, as like, much as they sued him. We're literally averaging money. Dude, oh, as much as they sued him for, just fucking... I think he would have been happier getting <laughs> yeah. shot. Uh, so uh, uh, maybe I'll just throw him $18. I don't watch his stuff, but I'll play the game. <laughs> I just I feel like I just want to know that moment of like the PR team comes in. He's like, I'm losing all my money. I'm getting fucking destroyed. What, 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 do we, what, can, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? He's just like fucking ripping cocaine. They're like, oh, we could make a game. Like, what do you think about yeah. that? Like, you could we snort could less cocaine. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Damn, that's yeah. funny. That's pretty yeah. good. I might um, play that. The Not only one video. I had on here was uh, Ignoble uh, come. I was, I was going to talk about the Ignoble comeback. I was gonna, okay. Let me let me just one real quick. This is one that's funny too. So you know we're all in Vegas, right? We're all in Vegas for TwitchCon, and the construction on the Strip was fucking insane because they're mm -hmm. getting ready for a huge F1 race. They just had it, and it it fucked us up so bad. And like it made Ubers cost more. It made Uber wait time longer. Mm -hmm. It made everything worse. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I know it's good, there was gonna be traffic yeah, if it show. wasn't happening, but it was no, more bad. of a shit show than it normally would be, which I'm is so bad. Like, the there was some. There was some times where it was like hour to two hours, like trying to get between like small places, and so they had the race. And in the first four minutes, they had to fucking stop the race because some like some shit broke. And I just thought it was a like all that fucking work, and the fucking first four minutes, like was it a pothole, Saint Ted's? It was a loose pothole, yeah, and <laughs> the F1 car Jesus. ran right over it and popped it out and fucked up the car, and they had to cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. <sighs> Three goddamn minutes. Three goddamn minutes. At least it minutes. wasn't, like, really far into the race, and honestly, it was better that way. Fucking probably. hell, man. But people were paying up to 22 grand for tickets to, like, Ooh. for the closest section. Oh. God damn. So, Imagine My twenty two grand for the tickets. You fly all the way out to Vegas, like you, you hotel stay, and then like three minutes in, you just see a fucking an Italian Prime F one machine just fucking blow up right in front of you. <laughs> that's worth twenty two thousand bucks it. to me, bro. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, if yeah, I knew that like, was gonna yeah. happen. I, I yeah. might have found a way to make that during my know. NASCAR arc. The best part of the race is the last three laps and the crashes. Like that's just is what it is. You know, oh, I think yeah. that's the best is part. That a, is that a thing with the last three laps? I've, yeah. I yeah, I've been to a yeah. lot of NASCAR races actually. The last, in the last few three laps, years, the last few laps of a NASCAR race are actually hype as fuck because usually you got two or three guys at the front and they're all like, you know, they're all like moving for position. It's actually it's entertaining. Mm. And the rest of the race is just getting fucked up. Like that's the, that's like the NASCAR tradition. You start the race, everybody's getting fucked up, and it's like those last twenty laps it's like where the people Hamzy actually game, basically. Yeah, it's like the pre game. And then the like the last twenty laps, like, oh, who's in top ten? And then that's when people start watching. Like mm. actually watch. And okay, then, that makes sense. That and then when you're getting sense. fucked up, the, the thing is when you're getting fucked up and you have those hundreds of laps there's crashes so you're getting you're like oh fuck there's cars flying everywhere like i've never thought about that, that yeah, how long does it take to get to that point <laughs> it's like a, it's like a two three hours usually three hours i think oh, it depends shit. on the track but like daytona that actually Daytona's, sounds kind of yeah. fun the 500 is hours a nascar yeah. race is definitely a fucking like there's the demographic there is you know terrifying but like you can have a good time <laughs> if you want to have a good I'm, time i've for never sure. actually had any desire to go but the way you just described it Damn. 
did make I know this. Sound fun. If the five of us were to a like Talladega, Daytona, we'd have a blast. Like, we'd have. <laughs> I've, I've been. We'd I've been to time. both Daytona races for three years in a row now. The past. That, that, uh, was it, it was a banger, was it not? Because yeah. Daytona's sick, isn't it? No, it's sick. Well, I just I, I go through work and then I get to drink all time all day for free mm. and eat. I've always wanted to go. I've uh, been to Talladega. I've been to Bristol. I've been to what's the track in North Carolina? I don't know where it's called. I've been to that one too. I've been to a few. Um, um but uh. Yeah. It was a good time. But I'd as far fun. as the F one, um, those seats being twenty two grand, I my friend who's a bottle girl, and she's she's a very attractive lady. So she got a box like she got into a F one box for free, the fucking weekend. <laughs> like holy, guys. that's probably a co talk about confidence booster. Before that's probably a confidence booster if you can get, yeah. pull that off. That shit off. That's he. So when when they canceled the race. Did they just postpone it a couple of days or like till they could fix it? Or I'm assuming they... they did the next day if it was just a pothole or it was like they postponed it for that would probably, I don't know. I'm not sure. I would figure it's, next day. I would something. put a lot of shit in people's like people are spending hundreds that's, of yeah. thousands. That's yeah, that, that I'm not sure. That's but cool. I don't want to be the guy making that call. <clears throat> no. Honestly, uh, I would love to be the guy making that call because then I could just like, it's basically like fuck all of you guys. <laughs> like eat shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I fuck mean, you guys. Enough, you spent all that money. Like, what are you gonna that's do about it? Look, like, you're spending twenty two thousand dollars to watch an F one race. You probably your your concept of money. You're probably you're probably all right. You're probably doing. Yeah, fine. you probably that's got true. it at that point. Probably not yeah. worried about money too much. <laughs> you're spending that much. Um, but yeah. uh, are you uh you ready for the Twitter workshop? That's all we that's all we got in the topics. No, yeah, I got I got one. But I I'm... actually got one this time. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Okay. Prepared. Okay. I don't. I got, got one, but it's probably shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, Nine Rain, rain. lead us off. Lead so, us off. Okay, rain, this yeah. one's, I, I know this dates me uh, for how long I, it's been since I was on the podcast, but <clears throat> it's okay. It's rough, but you'll get the, the real reason the high level community wanted to get rid of Duke mining was to get more real miners on their world. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. It's like great. It. It's great. It's great. But the time, the time's fast. The timing is fast. But like, dude, that's the funniest time. That's the last time you were on. That is the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. That's a long time ago. It's really good. Yeah, but that's that. Yeah, that shows the age since you've been on here, bro. What the fuck, man? Okay, I got one that's a step down. This one's for T Papa. The white lady across the street likes to take charge in bed. Call that Sarah Domin. Dude, that is dumb. a T Papa that's tweet. That's thing. such a T Papa <laughs> tweet. I wasn't going to say it, but I was like, he's not life. here. There it that is. is Thank, yeah, thanks. That, yeah, yeah, that'll fill the void <laughs> for him. Shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that'll here we go. fill the void. <laughs> Call me F1 Vegas. I cost too much in the last three minutes. Base. Okay, that's good. It's topical. Decent. I'm, I, don't, yeah, I don't think I tweeted that. Topical. That's pretty good, um, though. That was Saint Tits. Thank you, Saint Tits. <laughs> I got these two. I don't. I don't. I don't particularly like either of them, but I'm going to say them anyway, just because it's what all I have. Squirting with an STD, call that pepper spray. <laughs> <Hate> it. <laughs> um, it's kind of out of nowhere, but like, it, that's pretty funny. Yeah. The other one no, is, that's, yeah, that's, in, that's insane. Your hamster just died of old age. Do you have any videos of you farting loudly? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I like that one. Wait. That was my tweet last week, bro. What was it? What? <laughs> <laughs> I I have it just saved in my drafts from forever. I don't. Yeah. Let me look at my drafts. Did you give that to him? Okay. It's worded slightly different. What? Okay, okay. I don't remember. I think that. I missed that. And now I gotta go like it because that's in my drafts. Uh, all right, I have one. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, officer. If I'm not supposed to be jacking off in here, then why is it called the unisex bathroom? <laughs> are you sure max i don't I see that you? i think that's pretty good that's, right. that's no solid. no i, I didn't solid. tweet it it was one of the drafts okay. that i shared i feel like that's oh, i feel hey. like the delivery made that one it. good yeah. so if i could read it in <laughs> hamsy voice on twitter i'd like it you know i think that's a good well tweet. you'll see the way it's yeah got some unisex in all caps mm. yeah i got a, a I space got a after one. the i'm sorry officer pretty good <laughs> <laughs> Let's it. Listen, give me the next um, week if I don't come with some with something. But I, I don't know. I just I, maybe it's because you're, it's you're fired. You're okay. fired. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Pussy from a girl who's never accomplished a single thing in her life. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just reality of dating under the age of thirty. 
Yeah. Sorry, no. Mag, this is just this is Mag's coping on the hinge arc. He's just know, coping on the hinge I arc. So, that. dude, I, that sounds personal. Dude. Dude, I read that and I was like, damn, that's so real. I was like, fuck. <laughs> That was just so to a vibration. This level, guy, dude. he's a misogynist. I did that was him, bro. That was literally him, dude. It wasn't me. Yeah, that's uh, that's a I'll that's a swift left. retweet on that one. Oh mm -hmm. swift retweet. Alright, we sending? Are we? Hold up, yeah, I'm ready. You're, You're gonna, gonna see that one? and just remember Am that I, oh, this is when I was going Duke, on for him. Sending the Duke Mining one. Wait, can we talk about so you recently Yeah, Tasty, send it, send it, send it. Yeah, yeah go ahead and send it. But Tasty, you recently uh you hosted an episode of Behemoth and there was a um quaint uh, oh, asian lady um, laying on the floor in the back can we talk about that or that's that's patreon that's, okay that's all right let's that, that might even that, that dude that might even literally be like off patreon <laughs> we're gonna have to talk whoa, about whoa, that whoa, 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 we're gonna have to talk about that dude. gotta talk about that no. i need to all right, hear right. it if you I subscribe to the patreon it. right now i might talk about it fucking go <laughs> i need to hear that um, wait what was the premise again tell me the premise again what are we not talking about um, the strange woman that was lying on the floor of my house during yeah. the human video. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't have face tattoos, though. Nine Rain, take us out. On to the Patreon podcast. Let's go. That was the weakest shit ever. <laughs> Don't skip. We have some news for you because we have recently reworked our entire podcast format. We will still be conducting one normal podcast a week, but now tier one patrons will have access to a weekly exclusive patreon podcast that's going to be even more based and more after dark we've also updated our other tiers to include perks that allow you to directly interact with the podcast and influence the topics that we speak about the patreon will be linked in the description below